a recorded math lesson. Um, these will go inside, coincide with our live sessions. And the first topic for this is even and odd numbers. And we're going to walk you through some of the skills that we'll need. And the, the essential question is how are even numbers and odd numbers different? Hey, the first slide we're going to walk you through is a listen and draw. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, model two different numbers, and then we're going to talk a little bit about see how we can see if they're even and odd. And the main skill on this is we use what we call our 10 frames. These are uh, five across, two rows of five. And when you build a number to see if it's even or odd, you do need to fill the tens, the tens frame in a particular order. So I'm going to use uh, snap cubes. You could use anything on a piece of paper, including just a pencil and paper or crayon and paper. But I'm going to build the number, uh, let's do seven to start with. And let me go ahead and just draw that in with my pen tool. So let's draw, let's do seven in this top tens frame right now. So I'm going to go top, bottom, top, bottom. And I'm going to follow that pattern. That's four, top, five, bottom, six, and, whoops, and top, seven. Now, the check for even and odd when you're using a tense frame in this way is can I pair them up top to bottom? One pair, there's another pair, a third pair, but this last one is not a pair. So therefore, seven is odd. I'm going to have to get a stylus so I can write with <laughs> a little bit neater. Okay. Here's an example that uh, was already done. And here's the number five. And if you look at how they've done it, they've circled the top and the bottom for the first two pairs. And then the fifth one no pair, so five is odd. All right, my first D is not usually very neat, but my second one isn't too bad. Okay, here's another uh, example that they did, and this is for the number eight. And they paired, they paired, they paired, and the fourth one, the fourth pair. So every cube has a pair, so that means this number is even. All right. And here's another example. Now on this example, because the number 12 is, is more than 10, we needed two tens frames to do. So this one is filled in. And again, you go back after you've built the 12 and you look. Circle, circle, pair, 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 all the way across and a pair on the bottom. So do you think I should write even or odd? If you said even, you are correct. If you didn't, change your answer real quick. It's recorded lesson. No one will know. All right, let's look at the next slide. 15 is the one that they've done. And on this 15, they've built the 10 and then the 5. One 10 and five more ones. And they paired them up all the way across. But you can see the last one does not make a pair. So do you think this one is even or odd? <laughs> odd is correct. Yikes. That's challenging to do. We will get a mouse. Don't worry. And this is one that I actually did earlier. I forgot to erase. So let me see if I can erase it real quick. Check how good my smart board skills are. When I was practicing, I did this one. All right, so we got, uh, we're building the number 15, or excuse me, 13. So let's make that a note right here, 13. And actually, it goes right on this box. You'll see examples like this when you do your workbook. And put 13 blocks in, and the last one does not have a pair. So does that make this one even or odd? 
odd. You cannot share odd number of things evenly with a friend. Nine is odd, again, because you could have a pair, a pair, a pair, a pair, but no pair on the last one. Now slide 10 is a chance for us to do one together. So we're going to build 16, and I'm going to actually drag the cubes in and do this one. I know 16 is more than 10, so I'm going to need at least this top frame filmed, filled. So let me go ahead and do that. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I've done, I'm done building it, and then I have to choose. Do I circle even, or do I circle odd? Go ahead and say your answer out loud. If you said even, correct. Nice work. There's a few more examples. I'm going to stop the video for now and have you go ahead and let's get out your workbook and turn to lesson one. How do I stop the recording?